there is always one yacht that causes a stir at a boat show. And at the Grand Mark multi hull show, it's this Neil 51 trimaran. As you can see, it's quite a beast. This is the third Neil model, following the first 45 and the 65. principle of them remains the same and that is really putting the sort of accommodation you would see on a catamaran onto three hulls which in theory make it a more easily driven and faster cruising yacht. Working on board you got a single davit and the chocks for the uh, dinghy to go. Two set steps up to a single helm station. What's unusual here is there is a flybridge, but it's purely for sitting or lying and relaxing. So, at the helm station here, you have a pretty good view. And uh, all lines brought to these winches. main features of the 51 is what Neil has painted as the uh, strangely termed cockloon, a mixture of cockpit and saloon. So you notice the sort of uh, exterior galley, well sink and fridge options there and then this huge area that links between the saloon and uh, half cockpit seating. And that's made possible by having that huge open bulkhead and sliding door there. Because you have the stiffness and structure on the three hulls. You can really open it out between the two. noise you're hearing now is because the engine room door is open and we'll have a look down there in a minute because it's pretty extraordinary but look at the size of the galley and the amount of light and view on offer so much room in this galley I'd love to work in here 13 different drawers Now there is one serious problem with buying a Neil 51, potentially, and that is choosing which cabin to have. So this is uh, one of the USPs of the Neils, and that's having the a double cabin up here on the bridge deck which can look straight out, obviously. Lovely light ensuite cabin. And then of course, there's another choice here, which is pretty novel as well, which is a double cabin in the central hull, again, with its own heads and shower. And in 
by his house there are also very comfortable double cabin options too so as an owner you would want to try all of these options out I'm quite sure and if you're lucky enough to be a friend of an owner Probably fine. You're going to have a comfortable cruise as well. Similar again in the port hull. Down three steps. Lovely light double cabin. Obviously not quite as spacious in these as a catamaran's hull, but. Pretty good for the outriggers of a trimaran. To show you how much space there is on here, this is in the centre of the saloon. You always come, sorry. Merci. An extraordinary big engine room. Two meters headroom, tanks up the front, gen set, all the plumbing on this side, water maker, hot water tank, and the electrics on this side. to prove we're in France. <laughs> Eating the bread up on the engine. <laughs> and yes, obviously, a single engine. So you can see here just how much headroom there is and space around me to work in this engine room. It's really fantastic, man. It's like a ship's engine room. Incredible. <laughs> 